David, over 300 bees over the year. Yeah, uh, well, we, we counted about a year ago and we were we were like at 297, 297 <laughs> different designs over 29 years. It's been just honestly our, it's been our thing. It's been, you know, kind of from the day Joan walked in the building, one of the first pieces she presented on air with Mary Beth Rowe in 1990 was a bee pin, a copy of her famous Van Cleef and Arpel bee that her husband made for her. And we've been designing them ever since. This particular bee is just breathtaking. It's beautiful. It's amazing. You know, Joan was a collector of very fine Fabergé. Her, her collection had been, you know, exhibited at the Metropolitan Museum in New York. It had gone to St. Petersburg. Joan and I went to Russia and sort of went into the vaults of the Hermitage Museum. She knew her Fabergé. Oh. So this is inspired by a very famous egg that Fabergé did for the Tsar, which is the um, oh, apple amazing. blossom egg. It's one of the only uh, royal imperial eggs that's on its side, which I think is amazing. Traditionally, oh. there would be, you know, up and down. Right. So we're inspired by the apple blossom. And come in and see what we did, because I think it's just spectacular. We've done that beautiful enameling. We've done beautiful crystals set inside the apple blossoms. Of course, he's got his emerald eyes. Whoops, there we go, sorry guys. He's got his emerald eyes, which has been a symbol of our bees from the very beginning, and that beautiful pavade body. But if you look at the enamel work, it's what's called guilloche enamel. And guilloche means we've put a texture on the golden metal under the enamel so that what you're seeing through the green is a transparent green. You're getting that beautiful metal texture coming through. Very tricky work that's only done by hand, that's only done by a handful of you know, our, our right. manufacturers. And then we're setting in crystals inside those little pink apple blossoms. I think it's gorgeous. Oh, we have a video of Joan talking about the bee. We do, Should we, we see want it? to hear about the bee story. Awesome, sorry, I got yabbering away. That's okay, <laughs> take a look. But I do love the story of what the bee symbolizes because it's very meaningful and it's, and it's really, it's very motivational. They said to my husband that Joan is too New York and she will never be anything. Before you were famous. This is, I this was is, famous ah. on Carson. But they, oh, I see, too, too she's regional, too New, too New York. York. Right, right, right. And America will never like her. Oh, interesting. And the next year, I became the people's choice for the entire country where they voted. So my husband went and said, love you have that. achieved the impossible. Oh, And this is the he had heard this the story great. that the bee was uh, built not to get up. Like aerodynamically, on, yeah. Dynamically yeah, yeah, can't yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. never get on a plane that looks like a bee. <laughs> don't do it. Even they promise you honey. Right. I don't care what they promise you. The buzz is this is going to be a great flight. Yeah, don't do it. Buzz Airlines. Buzz Airlines. I'll pass. <laughs> I think I'll walk. And, uh, but the bee gets up and pollinates the world and makes the world beautiful. Yeah, and I yeah. love it because it really says you can overcome anything. What an incredible message lovely, from the two of lovely, you. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And, you know, it really, for Joan, it was about achieving the impossible. You know, became a best-selling author, talk show host, world-famous comedian, built a beautiful, you know, brand here at QVC. Absolutely. There was a, there was very little she did that she didn't approach with such gusto and such love of life. And I love that that, that little bee has become that, that symbol for, for all of us. Just if amazing. If you would like this, there's a few hundred remaining and then that's it. And it takes a long time if we're ever able to bring this back in again. If it would help. If you could use your QVC credit card, then that would mean your five easy pays would be about $12. So, and I know that not, this is the newest look in the QVC credit card, but if you got an old one like mine, it still works, trust me. But that would be about $12. <laughs> so who's graduating? Who uh, needs some inspiration, right? Um, that lovely bee story to be able mm. to give to your daughter, oh, your granddaughter, and, and your nieces. Oh, and by the way, we're mom. going to include a little card with Joan's words talking about the bee. So if you are gifting, if you are, if it's going to be a surprise for mom or for the graduate, yeah, retirement, the, this, yeah. or retirement, the. Um, the story will be told inside the packaging, inside the little velvet pouch. You'll, you'll come with the bee story, which I think is awesome. It's so Particularly lovely. Particularly for gift. It's lovely. One and one eighth of an inch long by one and a half inches wide. These are always very substantial bees. But to be able to stand here and say that is hand enameled. Amazing. That the crystals are set by hand. That's right. That's There's right. There's your inspiration. Um, very collectible. J359211. Almost gone at this point. He's Please wonderful. make sure that you are dialing in. That's the only B that we have today. You're welcome to go to QVC.com and see all of the other jewelry oh, that Joan brings us. Put in Joan Rivers jewelry or Joan Rivers 
pins or Joan Rivers necklace, whatever you want from Joan Rivers. <gasps> Would you like to see 